How did I find out? The doctor just said, that's Down syndrome. Your daughter has characteristics of a child with Down syndrome. It was a shock to hear this in the middle of a regular appointment. Because not only do we not have like a firm diagnosis, but in my mind, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I thought it was just a possibility. And I was just blown away. I mean, I'd never been so shocked in my life because I'd never, I didn't have much exposure to disabilities. So I was just in this deer in a headlights mode, like, what? We both got kind of defensive. I was angry, so angry. I was just screaming. I screamed every day. We just screamed. And then I would sob. I was so mad. And it's so hard to admit, but I just, my first reaction was, I don't want this baby. I just didn't want to do it. It was horrible. You kind of mourn this idea of your perfect, typical child that you're not gonna have. I'd never been around anybody with special needs. I just didn't know. So I literally thought that I had just been given the death sentence, you know? It was all a blur after she told us because your emotions kick in and your mind just starts racing. I don't think I kept any of the information that she gave me. I think I threw it away. You just think of the stereotypes. All you think about is that 25-year-old guy bagging groceries. You don't think about the infant that you're gonna grow with and that you get to love. The first thing that you wanna do is Google it. The first two weeks I read and read and I was like, she might not talk, she could be blind, she could be deaf, what are we gonna do? It probably would have been better for me to sit back and enjoy the baby. And then when I was emotionally ready to deal with, then start researching. I wish they had just said, yes, she's going to be able to do this. She's going to be able to do that. But you know, something that the doctor said that really stuck with me is we treat her just like every other baby. But if your baby broke her leg, then you would cry with her. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's how I felt about her. I, I felt really sad for the baby. And you feel bad that you feel that way. And you can logically say, it's not the end of the world, she's going to be okay, but you don't feel that way. And so you feel bad and you feel bad that you're sad.